Hey guys, what's up? Alex here back with part 4 of my beginner series for Sony Vegas Pro 11. And this video is going to cover the basics of slow and fast motion. But if you're also a Pro 8, 9, or 10 uh, Pro user, you can also use this tutorial because the method, the two methods we're going to do to make our videos slow and fast motion uh, can also be done in the previous versions of Sony Vegas. So a little insight before if you want to do slow motion is that uh, to get the smooth slow motion you need to have footage recorded at a high frame rate. Now if you have a low frame rate you can still use this tutorial to do slow motion except the slow motion on the low frame rate video is going to be a little choppy. So you want to have course a high frame rate if you want a smooth slow motion. Now let's get started and the first method I'm going to show you is pretty simple it's the most commonly used uh, method for doing slow motion is basically uh, hovering your cursor placing your cursor at the end or at the beginning of the video it doesn't really matter and until you get this little icon right here and with that cursor placed over the end or the start of the video clip you want to hold control and this little icon with a little wavy line should pop up you want to click it and drag it outwards and this will make the video slow motion now you can slow it down to about 30 percent of its original speed uh, so you can't go any lower with this method. So let's drag it out. And you'll know when you're at the limit when it stops uh, extending while holding the control button. So let's go ahead and preview the slow motion. Sorry, I'm just pre-rendering the video right now so it won't lag. And let's play it through. See, so the slow motion is pretty smooth uh, since I recorded this off a of Canon T3i at 60 frames per second. But as you notice that when I slow down the video, the audio slowed down as well. And the audio is, uh, it sounds a little bit weird so I'm gonna hear that again sounds a little metallic and there's like a little echo to it. So after you slow down your video, you can fix the audio just by right clicking on the audio and go into properties and then make sure you select pitch change and make sure the lock to stretch is checked so that it'll know when to uh, pitch the audio back up if it's slow down. So let's preview the audio again. Now you see the audio sounds what it's supposed to sound like when it's slowed down. Alright, so same method goes for when you want to do fast motion. So all you do is go to either end of your video clip, hold control until this little icon is appearing, and click it and drag it inwards to uh, speed up your video. Ready? Go. is sped up right now so that's basically what it is on uh, this met this is the first method of doing slow motion but again another tip so I'm just gonna reinsert the original clip into the timeline and if you don't want to slow down the entire clip and you only want to slow down the uh, a really specific part of your video clip all you do is go to the part where you want to apply the slow motion make a cut and then go to the end where you want the slow motion uh, to stop and then make another cut and you just 
uh, spread out the excess clip and get the clip you want to slow down and again do the same method hover your cursor at the end of the video clip hold control and just drag it out so that <coughs> the original speed first and then it's going to slow down so you can do the video and that's how you slow down a specific part of your uh, video clip now on to the second method in this method we're going to be using the velocity event velocity envelope and basically this allows more control over the transition from your original speed to a slow percentage or a higher percentage speed so to have the tool appear on your video all you need to do is select your video clip and go to insert and go to video envelopes and make sure event velocity is checked now you get this little green line and that line represents the percentage of your video clip and we're going to be making points different points on the timeline or on this line and those per points are kind of similar to keyframes uh, because you can kind of keyframe the speed of your video but one thing that's important is that uh, when using the velocity clip you can't synchronize the audio along with the video since it doesn't automatically do that so what you need to do to separate the audio from the video is select the video clip and press the shortcut letter U and that will separate the audio from the original video clip so we're just going to delete this audio and back to the event velocity to make a point all you need to do is go to the part where uh, you want the slow motion to occur and you want to double click on the line to make one point now automatically you don't want to drag this down because you need basically two points in order to transition from the original speed to a lower speed percentage so go forward a little bit and make another point and on the second point we made you want to drag it down now like I said in the previous method the limit of the slow motion in the other method is uh, about 30 percent so again the same rule applies to this method as well of course you can go lower except the thing is if you go lower than uh, 30 percent so say I'm at 17 percent right now if you preview the video it's going to look really choppy if you go below the speed percentage or the recommended speed percentage so you always want to make sure that the points are never below 30 percent so I'm just going to keep it at 38 percent and when you preview the video it's going to look pretty smooth now if you want to transition out from the uh, 38 percent of its original speed all you do is go to a specific part of your video, make another point, and then go forward about you know a couple or a few frames and make another point and get the last point we made and drag it back up to 100 percent. Now here's another thing. If you right click on the points in between the outside points, uh, you can select different fade options. And those are basically uh, how the keyframes are set up but by default it's a smooth fade so it'll smoothly transition into slow motion but if you want a really fast fade then you can of course select fast fade and then it'll re really quickly transition into a slow motion now when you're using the event velocity and you're lowering, lowering the speed percentage uh, 
it's not spreading out the video. So what I mean is not like the last method which uh, extends a video, it's not going to automatically do that when you're using the event velocity. So what you need to do is, you know, you have to manually find out which frame the original video clip ends just by extending the video clip. Now again, to do fast motion, it's really simple. All you do is raise the points above 100% and then it'll go into fast motion. And if you ever wondered why there's a negative percentage, uh, that's basically reversing your video. So it's going back in time. So if you look at it, the hands coming back together and that's uh, the negative speed percentage. Now, if you can't really control the um, the points accurately, so if you move it and you want it to be exactly, you know, 30%, but you can't get it right on there, what you can do is extend the video track. So if you click on this second icon right here called Maximize the Track Height, you can actually maximize the track height so that you can easily control the speed percentage. But if you don't want to do that, there's another option. So go to restore track height. Uh, you can basically right click on the points and click set to. And then you can type the value in of the speed percentage. Or you can set, there's a list of presets where you can set it to 300% or 100% reverse velocity so that's negative 100 and yeah that's the end of this tutorial so I hope this video wasn't too confusing I had a lot of information to cover but again if you need any help on specifically this video uh, just comment your questions on this video and I'll probably reply to them uh, within a couple of hours or a couple of days so again if you want more beginners series videos of this playlist uh, just requests any more videos in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time